Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a review that's a little overdue, and I have to apologize again for my lack of, uh, of content, but uh, if you saw my last video, you'll see that um, I had some things come up, and sadly I was un unable to uh, upload this any sooner. Um, or even record this. Uh, but basically, I wanted to talk about Captain America Civil War. Um, Captain America, uh, the first Avenger, was one of my favorite Marvel movies. Um, I was, I, 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 that, when that movie came out, I was very much on the, the side of loving that film. Um, a, lot of my, a lot of my friends and other critics that I read at the time were not big on it. Um, I really enjoyed it because it was not only a pretty decent like World War II movie, um, but it also really gave you an idea of the character of Captain America, which up until that point was kind of hard to decipher unless you were a, a big comic book fan. And I think Chris Evans did a great job in that movie, along with Tommy Lee Jones and everybody else involved. Everybody was great. Um, then comes Captain America Winter Soldier. And that movie is more like a 1970s spy movie um, with comic book characters involved. And up until Civil War, that possibly was one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Marvel uh, superhero film. Uh, that was just a phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Um, because it, it didn't talk down to its audience. And also, it was very, very, very suspenseful. Um, you weren't really quite sure what was going to happen in that movie. Um, and it surprised you a few times. Um, and the directors of that have now returned for Captain America Civil War, which, uh, you know, in a nutshell, I'm, I'm sure everybody has seen this video, uh, that's watching this video right now, has seen the movie already. Um, so I'm not going to go into big details in the film, and I'm not going to spoil anything in case you haven't seen the movie yet. Um, but I will say, uh, the Russo brothers who did... Uh, Winter Soldier are back and they are in top form in this movie. Um, I'm not usually big on multi-director movies, but uh, if Winter Soldier and Civil War are anything um, to look at, then we're looking good in terms of uh, uh, brother director movies from here on out. These guys are outstanding. Um, the overall story for Civil War is a uh, it's a different one for the Marvel series um, I should say for the Marvel uh, Universe um, series they, they it is not a story um, that is kind of uh, jokey or even you know fantastic it's it's very very serious um, and because of things that happen in the film, the main characters kind of become at odds. That's the whole point of the Civil War story is that the, uh, the superheroes in the Marvel Universe kind of take sides on, uh, on a very big issue uh, of if superheroes should be regulated um, by the government. And Captain America says no, Iron Man says uh, they should be, and they all kind of take sides and fight. And uh, in this film, not only do I think we get uh, what is, uh, honestly, I think the best superhero fight of all time, um, but we also get a very, very, very well done story. A story that not only is deadly serious, um, at times there is some, some brevity, is some times where you get some humor, which is what you need in a movie like this, because if it's too dark, you get Batman vs. Superman, which is not a bad movie, but it's a movie where you kind of get no respite from how deadly serious it is. And that can weigh down a film it's almost too much sometimes. Um, and as much as I enjoyed Batman vs. Superman, I enjoyed Civil War much, much more. Um, but not only do you get, like I say, you get, like the, you get the bits of humor, you get the... Uh, the very, very well done story, which it actually has a phenomenal ending, an ending that doesn't give you any easy answers, um, but also kind of leaves you hanging for the next one, which is what you want to do in a series like this, especially if you have a movie that's as crowd-pleasing as Civil War. You want them to come back for another one, and this movie definitely wants, you want more by the end of it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about with this movie was how awesome it is to finally see Spider-Man done in a way where I don't feel um, disappointed in any way, shape, or form. Um, Tom Holland has kind of an extended cameo in this movie as Spider-Man, and it may just be the best Spider-Man I've ever seen. 
Um, I have never been so excited for an upcoming Marvel movie than I am for Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I, I honestly, I cannot wait for this film. Um, if Holland is as good as he is in a full-length film as he is in, in his scenes in this, uh, we're in for a real treat. Um, also, seeing Black Panther come about in this movie, his introduction uh, into this universe was also well done, and it didn't feel like it was smashed in there. Uh, it was thought of very well. He does explain his origin in a way where you kind of get it. Uh, it's very brief, but you get it. Um, and he is the most badass film character I have seen in a long time. Um, you wouldn't want to screw with this guy. He is a, uh, he means business, um, he is ferocious, and also, I mean, he's, he's, he's Black Panther. I mean, come on, he's Black Panther. Um, even if you don't know the comic book character, um, after you're done with him in this movie, you, you want a Black Panther movie. So this movie does a great job of not only establishing future characters, which are obviously going to become franchises, but it also grows these characters that we've seen now. Iron Man, we've seen in five movies before this. This is the best he's ever been. Robert Downey Jr., outstanding job in this movie. Chris Evans, we've seen him play Captain America. What is it? About Winter Soldier, First Avenger, Avengers... Um, Avengers Age of Ultron has four movies. He's outstanding in this. Um, and again, you get these little, these little nuances of these characters that we thought were, you know, one way, and now we're thinking of them in this much expanded way, and their characters are better than ever. And usually when you get to the fourth or fifth film in a franchise, whether it be Rocky or... Um, I mean, any movie, I mean, any movie series, like Die Hard, any of these movie series where you've had the same characters for, you know, you know, all these installments, normally you get sick of these guys or they just, they can't figure out what to do with them. That's what I love about this Marvel Universe is that not only are we getting deeper into these characters as the movie goes, as the movies go on, but we're also just getting these outstanding performances again and again. And funny enough, I think this may be the best Iron Man movie. <laughs> um, even though he's not the main character, he may be the best part of this film. Um, even though Chris Evans does a great job. Um, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is just, just pitch perfect throughout this whole film. He doesn't miss a beat. And uh, I, again, I'm not going to talk about the ending of this film, but there is a pretty significant twist uh, and, and near the end of the film, and my God, I was in the theater doing this. I didn't see it coming. It really got me. And my friend and I, when we were watching this movie for the first time, there was audible gasps in the movie theater, like audible, like people going, <gasps> like it was, it was shocking because you don't expect this kind of thing out of a Marvel Universe movie. Uh, but they did it, and my God, I hope they do it again. We need another one of these movies. Um, not only did I see it once, I saw it a second time in IMAX 3D, and it was better than the first time I saw it. So the movie even rewards multiple viewings. Um, the cinematography of it is fantastic. Like I said, the writing is pitch perfect. I think this may be the most well-written Marvel superhero movie ever. Um, and I thought Age of Ultron was very well written, if not a little bit jokey. Um, but again, I, I love these movies. Um, but this one here, this is this is it, man. Like this is it. Um, if you're a, if you're a comic book fan, you gotta see it. If you're a movie lover, you gotta see it. it. There's just no negatives I can think of in this movie, except for a few plot contrivances that I can't talk about here because it would actually ruin the movie for you, and I'm not gonna do that. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, Again, I can't, I can't think of anything negative to say about the movie, except for the fact that, um, you know, there, like I said, there is a gigantic superhero fight, and as good as it is, uh, and as serious as it is, it does get pretty serious, as it's the most entertaining thing ever, um, they kind of play it safe in certain parts, uh, and I think they could have done, it could have been a little bit riskier, but... In a movie as good as this is, I shouldn't be complaining. Um, I give this movie my highest recommendation. 
uh, Civil War may just be the best superhero movie ever made. Um, again, I, you know, I have my scale from uh, great, good, bad, ugly. I'm giving this a great, uh, a great, great, highest recommendation of any film I've seen so far this year. Uh, definitely go see Captain America: Civil War. Um, just an outstanding film. My name is Andrew Kavanaugh. Again, thank you for coming back to Kavanaugh's Corner. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, keep reaching for the stars and so will I. Bye-bye.